Well, I think Daisy is just as excited to see inside this box as I am. It's been a long time coming and longer than it should have been. I should have been showing you this last week, but with one disaster after another, it didn't turn up. I ordered it when I was on holiday. It arrived before I got home, so a card was left. And then I saw it considerably cheaper from another store. So I decided to order that and I was ordering it as I was coming home from Wales in the car. I was in the back, I wasn't driving and ordering. And um, it, was a, it was a lot, lot cheaper than the normal price. Um, so I cancelled this one and then I refused delivery. <sighs> Turns out that the despicable company, uh, Avern, A-V-E-R-N, they said they didn't have any in stock. I queried when the order was going to be delivered. They said, oh, we've got to refund you. We haven't got any in stock. And yet they're still showing it's available for next day delivery. I was lied to, basically. They refunded me the money, but they didn't want to, me to pay the price that they put up on the website. Why they couldn't have been honest and said, oh, it was a mistake. We'll have to refund. And I'd have had to accept that because... Legally, they don't have to sell it to the price for the price advertised, whether online or in a retail store. Certainly in the UK, if it's a mistake, they don't have to. So if they'd been honest, fine, but they lied to me. So I'll never use that company again. Anyway, I had to buy it from another company who was selling on eBay and I had a 10% coupon. So it was a bit cheaper than normal. But anyway, oh, enough of that. Let's just get it open. Now, for all of you waiting for Henry Quick, I have been assured that it's coming soon. I will be getting Henry Quick. I'm assuming the red version. But what I show you today with the pneumatic quick will be more or less the same as you'll get with Henry Quick. There are a couple of major differences or minor differences and I'll tell you those um, during the video. Let me just uh, get rid of the rest of this seal. So this is pneumatic's first, not first cordless, but their first cordless stick type cleaner. And it's bagged, not the first bagged cordless. I have a few in my collection, the Halo capsule. I have a GTEC one, of course the Forverk uh, VB100 is bagged. So it's not new, but uh, most of my viewers will know I do prefer a bagged vacuum to a bagless one, just because they're a lot cleaner to empty, maintain, no dirty filters to keep washing. So here we have the instruction book. A little bit different to the regular Henry and Hetty type books. So I'll look at that later. Inside here we have the extended use handle. Now that's something you don't get with the regular Henry Quick or the Hetty Quick. Now they're going to do the Henry Quick also in this graphite color. It's going to be available in three colors. It's going to be basically the same as this, but it only has one battery and it doesn't have this extended use handle, which you can fit to the main handle of the cleaner. Let's uh, we'll take out the wand, shall we? And get it open. No, no plastic used in the uh, packaging, which is good. Just paper and card. Should be able to recycle that. Here's a nice, very sturdy feeling handle. It's got pneumatic branding just on the end here as well. And a click fit. That's that. Inside here, we have a few bits and pieces. We have four pods. And there's one fitted to the cleaner. Now with the Henry Quick, Hetty Quick versions, you get 26 pods and the pods come in packs of 10. So you'll get two packs of 10 plus whatever's in the box. So I assume you get six in the box. So here are the pods, a little closure flap there with a little smiley Henry face printed on them. So there's four of those in there, in, in this box here. This is a little air freshener that fits in the machine. I'll show you that shortly. We get a nice, strong, fairly long crevice tool, pretty decent length. You also get a very familiar combination brush. Many cordless machines have this style of brush. So you use it like this 
for your curtains and upholstery and if you want a brush for your dusting, your lampshades etc you can press on the button I expect it's going to be stiff because it's new yep medium soft brushes that'll be all right for my Venetian blinds and my lampshades etc so that's the two cleaning tools and this is the holder that attaches to the charging storage bracket that you can fit onto your wall but you don't have to screw it to the wall you can charge it separately if you want to there's some uh, raw plugs and screws I assume this is a battery in here I'm going to put this on charge very soon so that's a 25.2 volt lithium iron battery as I said you can charge it when it's in the cleaner or you can plug it in through that socket there and charge it separately but as I said this comes with two batteries as standard this is the commercial version I'll put that to one side here is the wall bracket the floor head quite narrow I'll look at that in more detail got quite stiff brushes and quite a narrow opening so it should concentrate the power it's very reminiscent though of a vax or halo capsule although it does seem a little bit more solid a bit weightier than the vax version this will be the other battery I'm assuming yes that's the second lithium-ion battery I'm not going to use that I think for now I'm going to keep that uncharged I don't think I'll ever need to use two batteries so I'm going to keep that to, in the box I think if you have a larger home you might need two batteries on the go but obviously this is for commercial use so I expect they will need two batteries here's the charger very uh, Dyson-esque looking pneumatic branded charger and then oh, another bag I thought so another spare pod and oh, I'm finally holding in my hands a pneumatic quick and as you can see because this is the commercial version we don't have the smiley face we'll get on the uh, Henry and Hetty quick okay let's get rid of the packaging and have a closer look at pneumatics first cordless stick so here's the cleaner quite bulky I have to say feels fairly light in the hand but of course we don't have the battery installed yet so that's going to add to the weight the battery will slide in here just under the handle and no trigger no trigger to keep your hand on we do have a nice textured panel with a little rest for your finger but you don't have to keep squeezing a trigger like you do with a Dyson well most Dysons with this one we have a permanent on off switch we also have a plus button that's to boost the suction power we also have a brush roll on and off button and you might not be able to see when they're not illuminated but there are four little white lights that indicate the state of the battery the charge of the battery now what I can do while we're waiting for the pneumatic quick to charge is to insert the little air freshener which I didn't know it had an air freshener until I checked myhenry.com and saw they'd updated the website to show the three models that they will be selling the Henry quick the Hetty quick and the graphite machine which is based on this color graphite and I didn't realize until then that it had an air freshener feature so here is the little disc now I have seen in the instruction book I think I've seen somewhere you can buy these in packs of 12 I'm not sure if they're all the same fragrance mmm it's very it's sort of bubblegum sweet fragrance so hopefully at some point they'll produce some different smells I prefer sort of citrus or a piney odor that is it, you could almost eat that so keep that out of the reach of children because they'll smell that and think it's a sweetie because it's got a sweetie yeah it's a sort of sweet shop smell you'd, you'd find in Scarborough you know that sort of sweet rock mm, not I'm not keen to be honest but anyway I'm gonna fit it fits under this little rubber stopper this goes in like that and then we can put that back on you've got to put that back on and then the exhaust air will vent out of the vents here either side of the motor so yes here it is it's bagged 
which I do love. I do love a bagged vacuum. My vacuum of the month at the moment is the Dyson V12 Slim. And although it's not too bad, I quite like it. I'm having to empty it every time I use it, which means going out to the bin because I'm not emptying it inside and it's all the dirt sticks, all the hairs stick on the inside of it. So even though it's got the ejector system, I'm still having to put my hands in and pull out the hairs. So I know with this machine and the Henry Quick when it arrives, I won't have to empty it. It's just when the bag's full, I'll eject the bag into the bin without even touching the dirt and put in a new bag. And to eject the bag, we've got this big bag ejector here. So what you do, you just push that forward and hopefully it should drop into the bin. Obviously when it's full of dirt, it'll be heavier. It might not drop down because it's empty. Oh, it did. So there we go. And inside there is a filter at the back. It just looks like a foam filter. Not sure if we can remove that. Oh, you can, quite easy to remove. Just a little piece of foam. That should stay fairly clean as long as you use it with the correct bags but that could be rinsed, squeezed out and dried. And of course I've got the motor. So that's one filter. The other filter, of course, the main filter is the bag. No cyclones to get messy. No filters to continually wash. We'll have a look at the rating sticker here if I can get the camera in. And some of you may be disappointed by what you're about to see. This is model number NQ100, serial number 7221856, net weight 3.2 kilograms, and uh, it's from Pneumatic, of course, use lithium ion battery, it tells you which uh, number battery to use, it's 25.2 uh, volts, 300 watts, and there's a warning note there, and in small writing at the bottom, designed and tested in the UK by Pneumatic International, Manufacturer, King Clean Electric Company Limited, made in PRC. I've had quite a few negative comments on my social media when people have found out that this cleaner is actually made in China. Now, one of the benefits of pneumatic cleaners, one reason why people buy them, is the fact that they're made in the UK. And they will continue to produce the majority of their machines in the UK. In fact, they're expanding their UK factory so they can increase production. So it is hoped that in time, production of this cleaner will be moved to the UK. And that's common with many manufacturers. They'll get, they, when they enter especially a new product category, they'll get someone else to make them just to test the market and then they'll end up making them themselves. Hoover used to do that all the time. They'd get somebody else to make their dishwashers, their fridge freezers and other machines. And then once the market had grown, they brought production to their own factories. So fingers crossed, that's what's going to happen with the pneumatic quick and of course the Henry and Hetty quick. So it is what it is. It's made in China, but first impressions, it does seem to be a pretty solid piece of kit. And because this is made for commercial use, it has to withstand a lot more um, abuse than it would in a domestic environment. Obviously, people using these in a commercial environment, they're not their own. They don't really look after them. So it's going to stand the tough commercial environment. It has a one-year commercial guarantee. I believe the domestic versions will have a two-year guarantee. You can go over to myhenry.com and check out their Henry Quick page, and you'll see all the models available. But at the time of making this video, they're not available, but I have been assured they're coming soon. The lady from Pneumatic who are kindly sending me a Henry Quick to show you, um, they've updated me yesterday and said it was, it's coming soon. So, you know, hold on. I couldn't hold on any longer. When I saw this was available, I just had to buy it. So, you know, anyway, let's put the pod back in. And it fits nice and, snu nice and snugly in the clear container so that's good there's also a safety feature i can't show it at the moment because there's no battery in but there's a little micro switch here that prevents you from using the machine either with the bag door open or without a bag so if there's no bag i don't think you can close it but if you try and turn it on when there's a battery in obviously it's not going to switch on so you always have to have a bag um, 
Why would you use it without a bag? I don't know. Got to open it like that and I forgot. It's all so new, I'm so, my heart's pounding. Right, it's been that long. We've all been waiting so long. And this isn't even the Henry version, but you'll get the gist from this video. Like I said, subscribe to my channel. And as soon as I get the Henry version, I will be showing it to you. Lickety split, as they say. Well, that's the cleaner. Let's have a close look at the floor head, which I have to say, I've not used it yet, but when I saw pictures of this, I was a little bit dubious. I'm not keen on this style. It's a bit dated now, to be honest, when many manufacturers are now producing the floor heads like Shark with a soft roller. Everyone seems to be copying Shark now. Um, this doesn't like have an anti-hair wrap facility. This is the brush roll. The brush roll does come out without the need of tools though, so that is a plus point. It's a little button on the top here. Press that in and then we can remove the brush roll. So easy, easy to remove should you need to get rid of human or pet hair from the brush roll. You can just use your scissors and cut through and I'd, I'd keep it clean. Obviously a clean brush roll is an efficient brush roll. But yes, it's quite a small opening, I have to say. If it does get blocked, this hose here does come off, or it, can, it does lift out, by releasing this little tag. And you can stretch it out. This seems a fairly strong material. It seems better than the earlier shark hoses that always used to split. It's more like a stretch hose, and it's clear. So if it does get blocked up, if you find, find it's not picking up properly and there's no, the bag is not full, then there may be a blockage in this part, but you can see how easy that is to open up and access. So clearing blockage should be good. So maintenance on this head, no tools needed. And obviously in a commercial environment, they haven't got time to be looking around for tools. They need to be able to get it open. Let me just make sure that's in. There we go. Oh no, that's not in. I will study the instructions. I think you have to push it right in. That's it. There we go. It's locked in place. I'm a bit worried about it working on this plush carpet. It will work fine on floor and short pile, but many cordless cleaners don't cope very well with this particular Saxony carpet in my living room. So it'll be interesting to see, but at least we do have a little suction control. So this head has a slider suction control here, so you can open it up if you're having trouble pushing the machine on certain piles of carpet or lightweight rugs. So that will just allow air into the system so it's easier to move. And of course you've got two suction settings, so if you can't move it on boost, then you'll have to use it on the normal setting. In my experience of using cordless cleaners, I very rarely need to press boost. In fact, all the month I've been using the Dyson, I've not had to press boost once. I've been using Eco or the automatic setting. And on this Henry Quick or Pneumatic Quick, I'm sure I won't need to use the high suction setting for most of my cleaning. So there's that. So that's the head, wheels at the back. It's got a nice neck, nice pivot. It does feel fairly strong. This moves up and down and pivots from side to side, so it should be fairly manoeuvrable in use. I'm a little bit disappointed that Pneumatic currently aren't offering a mini motorised tool. We only get the larger floor head, but you can use the floor head directly onto the machine. So if you want to clean your carpeted stairs, you can use the machine in this configuration. But I think it's not really suitable to use this head on your upholstered furniture, you have to use the combination tool. So hopefully they may in future be a pet version in green possibly to match all the other pneumatic pet machines that will also have a mini motorized tool. And if they produce that, I assume you'll be able to buy that to fit your existing machines. I'm just guessing here. I'd also personally like to see a flexible hose attachment available. The reason is this is quite a big machine and in the car, obviously this is commercial, so I don't think they'd use it in a car, in a commercial environment. But if you're buying this for your home and you want it for cleaning your car, you are, you are restricted, I'm afraid, because you can put the crevice tool on, but you've got the bulky unit and to get in the nooks and crannies in a t confined space such as a car, it's going to be a bit tricky. So 
It would be nice to see in future a small flexible hose. Obviously this has a permanent on button, so you're not having to hold an on button like you are with most Dysons. So you could turn the machine on and with a, a small stretchable hose, you could attach the tools to the end of that and clean the tight spaces. What I would like to see, pneumatic listening, make a hose that fits this end, but on the other end of the hose, you could have it so it would fit all the other standard Henry tools, the 32 millimeter tools, because some people will be buying this and they have a Henry already. So if you can use Henry tools on this, that would be ideal. I think pneumatic should do it before some Chinese manufacturer gets in first. So that's a suggestion, flexible hose and possibly a mini motorized tool would be very welcome, but it is what it is. So I'm charging the battery as we speak. I'm going to fetch it and just give you a quick brief turn on of this. And then I'm going to leave the battery to fully charge. And then I'll uh, do a little bit of a demo. Pneumatic state that the battery should take around 150 minutes to fully charge. And when charging out of the machine, you'll see a red light here on the side. I can't find it in the instructions, but I'm assuming that that will turn to green when the battery is fully charged and possibly turn off altogether when it's ready to go back into the cleaner. I'm just going to slide the battery into the machine. Goes this way like so and if I plug it in now we can actually see an indication of charge here as you can see the third light is flashing which means the battery has some way to go before it's fully charged it's always recommended that you fully charge a cordless cleaner before first use but I'm itching to switch this machine on I'm going to obviously fully charge it before I do any cleaning with it so let's turn on the pneumatic quick for the first time by pressing the silver button. Oh, that's an abrupt off. It's, I have to say, pretty mediocre on its low setting. Let's see what it's like on high. Certainly better. But obviously in conjunction with the motorized head, I think the low suction setting will probably be suitable for most carpets, most hard floors. So yes, not too bad at all. Let's, uh, let's see what the power head sounds like. Switch on. The motorized head may sound quite noisy in this video, but I was holding it fairly close to the microphone, but um, it doesn't sound too noisy in real life. It's not too bad at all. And of course, when you're using it away from you, obviously when the wand is attached, the noise level should reduce. It may sound noisier as well on a hard floor than it will on a carpet. Let's slide in the nice wand does uh, yeah it does feel solid I must say certainly more solid compared to the Dyson I'm using at the moment but yeah it's got a thicker thicker wand this machine than the Dyson I've got that clicks in right okay well I'll do a very quick go on this carpet before I put some dirt down and do a brief demo I'll be obviously featuring this machine a bit more and as soon as I get it you'll be seeing the Henry Quick also on this channel when you turn on the pneumatic quick, the default setting is low. So that's what I'm going to try it on first on this Saxony carpet. I've got the suction valve closed, so we'll see how it does. Here goes.
Well, I have to say on the normal setting and with the suction control closed on the floor head, I had no trouble pushing the nozzle across my plush pile carpet. It wasn't digging in, it wasn't sticking to the carpet and it wasn't skipping across the pile either. So I think that's quite good. Let's uh, give it a quick go on its boost setting because I think it might be harder to push. <laughs> Yes, on this particular carpet, on its maximum setting, it is quite hard to push. Not impossible, but pretty difficult. I suppose I could use it on max, but with the suction control open, we'll try that. It's certainly easier to push with the suction control open, but I think for my use, for my day-to-day -day cleaning, I'm just going to use this machine on its normal setting with the suction control closed. That's just in this room. Obviously, the rest of my home has much shorter pile carpet, and I will probably be able to use the boost setting on a lower pile carpet without too much trouble. My first impressions of the Pneumatic Quick are favourable, but obviously I'll be doing a follow-up video with a full demo and possibly even a full house clean at a later date. But so far, yet yeah, I'm pretty impressed with Pneumatic's first cordless stick. One thing before I go, I haven't shown you the extended use handle. I don't know if it's going to be any more comfortable to hold. So this doesn't come with the Henry and Hetty Quick that you'll be able to get soon from myhenry.com but you will be able to buy this separately if you want it so this clips to the main handle oh, I've just noticed there's a little metal part here and I assume that's an anti-static feature so as long as you're holding the machine and you're touching the metal part you're not going to get any static shocks from certain man-made carpets so that's a, a nice little feature there's, there's also a rubber heel which I assume means you can lean it up against the wall just briefly. It won't stand up on its own. You do have to lie it down on the floor in between cleaning if you need to put it down quickly. But with that anti-slip rubber part, you should be able to lean it up against the wall should you need to. So let's have a look at this handle. I think it goes on that way. There's a little clip that opens. So the handle goes on this way. That's it, and then there's a clip, the little black piece that comes underneath. I think you have to clip it to that. There we go. That's clicked on. I'll just give it a quick push using the extended use handle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't mind it. I can see it would be more comfortable for a taller person used in a commercial environment but um, I think maybe for home use I'll, I'll avoid using this particular extended use handle but it's there if you want it. Hopefully it'll come off easily. Should do, there we go. Should just pull off, there we are. Yeah, there's, there's a little in it, but I think personally, I think I prefer to use it with a handle attached. And this is how you'll get the Henry or Hetty Quick without the extended handle. So there you go. That's my initial unboxing and first look at the Pneumatic Quick. Don't forget, subscribe and click the bell icon because as soon as Henry Quick is launched, hopefully it will be arriving at my house and I'll be showing you a video of Henry Quick and doing a demo of that. But if you're after a Henry Quick, this is basically the same, but this is the commercial version with two batteries and the extended use handle. It comes with less pods though than the domestic version, but the pods will be available. You can already buy them in packs of 10. And I'm sure when the Hetty and Henry Quick is launched, 
pods will be available for myhenry.com and many other retailers just as available as the regular Henry bags. Well that's about the end of this rather in-depth unboxing and first look at the new pneumatic quick cordless vacuum cleaner and as a, a little snippet of extra information for any of you who've stayed till the end I've just received an email from Becky at Pneumatic International who says that my Henry Quick should arrive at my house this Tuesday coming so there'll be another video next week on the brand new Henry Quick so that's something to look forward to. In the meantime I'll be showing you this cleaner again at some point and if you have any comments or questions about the Pneumatic Quick please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.